Sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail. Sometimes you're the one smashing other people, and sometimes you're the one that's getting smashed. And it's that duality that keeps us humble, and also it shows us like our flaws, right? It shows us our flaws, our weaknesses, and it, it shows us our strengths, right? When we're playing to our strengths, we're the, we're the hammer. And sometimes like when other people are exploiting our weaknesses, that's when we become the nail. So it's uh, taking those times like, okay, I'm, I was the hammer today. What was I doing well, right? Explore those things. Some days you come in and, and you're the nail. So what were my weaknesses? Where were they catching me? What do I have to clean up, right, in order to, to make myself better? So it's, uh, it really helps you kind of understand yourself and where your strengths and your weaknesses are. And then uh, by knowing those things, it, it helps you grow as a, as a person and as a martial artist. My name is Cody Aird. I'm a purple belt in jiu-jitsu and I train out of United Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in Coburg, Ontario. Kids are like sponges, like they, uh, they, they learn quick, uh, they have fun with it, which is like, I, I know like jujitsu, like when you're an adult, you're, it's, it's, your brain's already hardwired certain ways, so you're trying to learn things and it, it can like break your brain sometimes, but kids are just having fun, you know? So they'll, they'll just try it. It doesn't matter to them. Like you show them something and you, even in my head, sometimes I'll show a technique and I'm like, all right, like half the room's not going to get this. Right. And then by the end of like, you give them five minutes and all the kids are doing it. Right. You give that same, same thing to a group of adults. You're sitting there like you got to re-explore these movements. Like the next class, half the people, like forget them, you know, whereas the kids, they, they grab it. And they, uh, and once they have it in their heads, they just continuously doing do it without uh, without being asked to, to revisit it. So it's uh, pretty interesting how their brains how their brains work. Coaching is cool because because uh, you get to help the kids like grow, which is huge. Like uh, when I was younger, the the people that I kind of looked up to that were older than me were uh, encouraging me to make choices that weren't uh, in the best interest of myself, and I was following I was following their lead, and and I thought that was the way to, the way to go about it, but. Uh, I've realized that that wasn't the way to go about it. So I'm trying to give the kids like a strong role model that they can see uh, on a consistent basis that's telling them how to live properly, right? So it's, it's and it's, there's so many different uh, like kids and reasons why they train. So uh, like some kids want to compete. So we're, we're building them like mentally different than the other kids, but some kids are just there. They need to, to gain confidence right they need a little bit of discipline in their everyday life they need uh like good social interaction so like training jujitsu allows them to get all of those things in a healthy way they get to release their energy so for me uh, coaching the kids is uh is it's extremely important uh, to their growth as human beings once you get to that turtle position you guys are going to start live okay Aiden, you got to get your guard back Reese, you're trying to get side control or take his back. Good, Art. 
Before jujitsu, I was uh, I was doing I was living improperly, I guess. But uh, when I uh, found the academy, it completely changed my life. I uh, I started focusing on training. Uh, 360 my life. I'm in good shape. Uh, when I started, I was 185 pounds and completely out of shape. And now I'm uh, walking around 160. Uh, and in in phenomenal shape, so it's a uh, it's a completely 360 okay. my life. When we end up in this position, first of all, top could end up we could end up in closed guard, right? We could end up uh, open guard, put your speed on my hips, okay? We could end up uh, with me standing, so put your comes to turtle again. I get to hear he rolls into his guard. I'm about to be standing, okay? So the person on top, you decide how you want to go towards your partner. Keep a little bit of pressure. Right, so I push. All right, push the arm out of the way. I'm following him. So I have to sit into his guard. All right, so let's practice that a few times. Uh, we'll go no timer, just you and your partner going, yes, sir. You can get a connect, absolutely, absolutely. So with your partner, take your time. Let's figure this out, then we're going to do some live. so hard on the mat so the the rest of your life can be easy you you come out you train hard like that's the hardest part of your day you go you go to the gym you train that's the hard part dealing with your other challenges that that, that come up in your life is just gets easier after after you've trained everyone should uh, should be trying to do some kind of martial art at some time in their life to be able to know what it's like to be in combat with a with another human being because i think a lot of people they they think they can fight and they think that they're tough and they think they're strong but uh when you try and when you when you test yourself against other human beings you realize pretty quickly that uh that you're not that tough and you're not that strong and your cardio is not that good right and these are things that that you have to you have to train in order to know. So uh, I would, I think that everybody should train at some point. It's good for confidence. Yeah, like it builds your cardio. It gives you, uh, it gives you skills to, to deal with uh, real life situations. Like no one wants to be attacked, but who knows? Someone tries to attack you on the street, right? How do you make space? How do you stay confident? Just knowing how to like have your feet underneath you so that you can you can move away and keep your space and, and not cross your feet up and trip or something right how do you uh handle yourself in confrontation does your heart rate go up and you get you get angry real quick and, and you gas yourself out like can you control your breathing all of these things are are things that i don't think people think too much about and then the, a situation happens and they're completely unprepared